Good afternoon everyone, and today we are going to be making a video about this mysterious object that I bought today at the thrift store. Oh yeah, and uh, before we continue on, my tripod broke, so I don't think this is supposed to be on the outside. So I'm just going to go with that tripod and I'll buy another one. Yeah, it was a cheap one, so. Alright, so let's see how this goes. So right here is my new toy. It's a netbook. Um, it's a netbook. And we're going to open it right now. So I'm going to go open it and I'll be back. And here is the netbook. It's a Dell XPS M1210. It's a 12 inch netbook. And, and I plan on using this as like a school computer, like a cheap one. I paid a little too much for me, in my opinion, 20 bucks. And I think that I'm going to, and now we're going to uh, see what this thing has got. Respects, and again, lighting bad, I'm sorry, can't do anything about it. Or actually, you know, one second, let me get a, I actually got a, a lamp. I'm going to go get that really There we go, we got a lamp now. So now we can take a better look at the Dell XPS M1210. <laughs> so let's start by looking at it. So right here we have... So opening up the laptop, we have we have our indicators here. I got your power button, your camera button, home button. You got your little touchpad, and you got you got your little uh, media indicators: your mute, volume, play, stop, rewind, fast forward, etc., etc. On the side here. Okay, on the side here we have an express card slot, 34 millimeter. Let's see if I can get some lamp on this. Scarred event, Wi Fi switch, S video out, two USB 2.0 modem. Going around the back, we have the lock charger 10100. On the side here we have a VGA out, two, two more USB 2.0 ports, and a optical drive. So, oh yeah, and I'm at, oh yeah, it's got Fire, FireWire 400, mini FireWire. All right, so all right, battery, battery's dead on this thing, so I'm just gonna run with the charger. All right, so now I'm gonna power the laptop on. Power's on. Okay, older BIOS revision. I'm gonna update that. Okay. All right. All right. Entering the BIOS here. We have a Intel Core 2 Duo running at 1.83 gigahertz. Gigahertz, two meg cache. We have one gigabyte of DDR2 RAM, which I am going to upgrade to two gigabytes very soon. I don't have it on me right now, but I will later today. We have a NVIDIA GeForce Go 7400 graphics with 64 megs of video memory and a 120 gigabyte hard drive. Battery dead. Battery health, okay. BIOS is in 2006. Boot sequence. Disk drive internal. Let's see if we can change the boot sequence really quick. Let's move the internal HDD up. Oh, there we go. We're gonna do CD next, and then USB storage. All right, there we go. Boot order is done. Let's see. And then this is just regular stuff. Let's let's save and exit and we'll save this thing as an OS. Oh there we go. Took a while, but 
Basically, what it says here, AC power adapter cannot be determined. This will prevent optimum system performance. Let's just strike F1 to continue. Yeah, yeah. By the way, the reason is the charger I'm using is an HP one. Is that the original Dell one I couldn't find, but luckily I will find a new. I'll find a new one. I'll f try to find a Dell one later. So let's boot it up, and right there, no boot sector on the hard drive. No bootable devices. <sighs> well, it looks like we're gonna need to reinstall Windows on here. So I will do that right now. Flash drive in. Let's. Okay. Exit set up. Alright, let's restart the computer. Frame boot menu. Alright. And there we go! Windows boots up! on the flash drive, so I will now install it and I will be back once we get to the desktop. You're in the setup. Mouse button works. Thank god I have, I'm gonna use the mouse because this touchpad is really tiny and really annoying. Now the only um, thing that about this laptop is the, beat, the one of the keys are missing, but, it, but I don't really care. It's gonna work just fine. Let's see. All right, I'll be back. And Windows is now installing. This is going to take a while, so I will be back. And after waiting, waiting many years, it is basically done. Now the computer is going to restart. Hopefully. Come on! It's only SATA 1, so can't complain. This thing's definitely getting an SSD, so. Oh, there we go. I'm going to restart the computer. Flash drive is going to be. There we go. Removing the flash drive. Shut the fuck up. And there we go. And it's 10. It's probably going to take two years to boot. There. So. I'll be back. Okay, so the uh, thing thing was sitting at the getting ready symbol for like 20, 30 minutes, uh, and that hard drive, you can definitely hear. Hope the hard drive's not failing. I will check smart data on it, but right now we just got off that screen, and now we got a cursor. This is going to be a while, and this thing really needs some RAM, so I think I'm going to go finish setting this up, and I'm going to... Get that, get that RAM, like, hopefully after I set this thing up. Okay, so... We're, we finally got to this screen, and it's got... It's got dual-band Wi-Fi. I think it's wireless N or something. I'm impressed. Now, you know, we can't... I'm just... You know, I'm... Fuck, I'm gonna skip... I'm gonna skip networking. Alright, custom, let's customize the setting. Don't want that, don't want that, don't want that. Location's okay. Yeah, this is actually quite laggy. I don't know why it's laggy. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna um, get some drivers in and we are going to be finished. Well, I had to do the uh, Wi-Fi thing, like, twice. So now I am waiting for this thing. This will probably take an hour. It's like, two, it's like 3 o'clock almost, as you can see. I am getting RAM today, so don't worry. And, wow, this thing is laggy. 
Yeah, I think Windows 10 is a little too much for a gig of RAM. I remember. Yeah. So, once this is done, I'm just going to make sure all drivers are working, and then I am going to get the RAM, and I will be back. Now I'll even show you how to up the RAM on this thing. And who knows, I might even need to downgrade this thing to Windows 7, and I don't want to do that. Or the hard drive could be bad. And there we go. No. Create a username. Okay. I'm just going to use my name. And now we're just waiting for this thing to go. Hi. Okay, that was actually fast. Alright, so we're in Windows, so now I am going to download some drivers. I'm back, I'm going to do some stuff, so now let's see what we need in Device Manager. We have, we need Display Driver and need some other drivers, so I'm going to go get those drivers and we'll be back. Okay, computer is restarting. I have installed graphics driver and the camera driver. So now I'm just waiting for this sucker to restart. I'm going to go into the BIOS because for some reason I'm having an issue where Windows 10 is saying this Core 2 Duo runs at 0.900 megahertz. So let's see. I'll be back. Okay. I am going to uh, reboot the computer. And at the bottom screen, I'm going to do a timer. A minute and a half. Wow, this thing is slow. That was about a two minute boot. Alright, I'm gonna double check resolution really quick. What the hell? That's not right. What the hell? I'll be back. I am very pissed off at this thing. I've tried and find 64 minutes time. It didn't work. So now I'm going to have to make another flash drive because I lost the other one. And it's all 32 bit Windows 10. Let's see how it likes 32 bit Windows 10. So once the flash drive is made and Windows is installed, I'll be back. Guys, I finally got the display driver working! Well, I had to do Windows 10 32-bit, unfortunately. Now, now overall, everything is going great. The 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi works, everything. Everything transferred over nicely. So... Now, also while I was gone, I upgraded the RAM from 1 gigabyte to 2 gigabytes. They were uh, five, two 512 meg Hynix sticks. So now all I gotta do is find a Dell charger, the OEM charger, as the battery will not charge up on the HP, and and it also seems to uh, slow the processor down to 1.83 gigahertz, which sucks. What? Oh, what the hell is going on? Yeah. So that is it for today. When I get the uh, 
Dell VM charger. Uh, I'll be back. Okay. I'll see you guys later. This has been fun and frustrating at the same time.